Hey everybody, Eckers here. Welcome back to How to Survive 2. So, I'm, for the time being, I'm just going to put, well, you know what, I'm just going to carry it. Ain't that stress. I know we're overweight here. Let's just, let's just go upstairs here and try to find somewhere near, uh, near this bunker here to, uh, oh wait, no, we definitely want the machete out. So, mouse wheel switches your weapons around. Okay, let's clear this place of zombies first. Gosh, I don't. It's it, the, the machete kills him so fast that I don't even get the option to uh, to kill, do the kill move anymore. So we've got ourselves a box car up here. It looks like. Now, see, this might be nice to build up against because then this is like a, basically a big wall. Oh, a big wall. But I don't like the lack of visibility around it here with this grass. So maybe if we can find one that has a little bit more of a cleared area. Did I pull one? I think I just pulled one. He sounds angry. Hmm. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. Okay, there's something up. Okay, this looks like it might be a good spot. Okay, so and there's something blinking down here. Lump of coal. Now this is what I'm talking about. Something like this kind of has two sides already. I can build my camp out from here. Um, I actually got good protection from these woods, so I really only have to defend this area that I'm walking right now. Yeah, I kind of like that. And this is a... Yeah, it's all locked in. I'm going to build here. So I'm not sure how big this base is going to end up being. But... We'll go for it. We'll give it a shot. All right. So let's go to crafting menu. Let's build this trunk that we're supposed to make. Here we go. We got one. I guess it went in our inventory. Is it? Okay. Can I place it somewhere? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. WASD. Rotate. Place and escape. Okay. That's a big trunk, man. So I guess I'm laying claim to the areas. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and put it in here somewhere. All right, let's put it back here a little bit. I hope that's a good spot. I don't know. Give it a shot. See what happens. Buildings placed in the gap can be upgraded using various materials to make them more solid and to make new recipes available. But be careful. The more buildings you have and the more advanced they are, the easier they are to see. So they are more likely to draw zombie hordes. I don't like that. I don't like the idea of zombie hordes coming to me at all. Nope, not one bit. What's this over here? A piece of wood. Let's grab that. Let's unload a lot of what we're carrying here. I think I did that. Okay. I think I grabbed everything from this area. Wait, turn off. Why am I? Oh, there's another piece of wood. Let's go grab that as well. I know. We're pretty well loaded down here. I wonder if we lost... We probably lost some weight from... Uh, yeah, I guess we did from building this. Open. Okay, here we go. Upgrade. I have plenty to upgrade. What's coming at me? Something coming at me. Did you hear that? Man, that sounds like a wicked thunderstorm, though. I don't want to take whatever. Yeah, come on over here, buddy. I heard you. He's got some shiny skin. He's kind of tough. He took like two or th like three or four good hits. Okay, let's. Let's offload. Uh, probably don't need all those. Can I just take them all over there? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Blackberries. Bracelets. <laughs> I don't know why I'm collecting bracelets. 16 pieces of big wood. That sounds pretty heavy. How heavy is that? 32 pounds. Some saltpeter. Box of nails. Nylon thread. I wish I could just do like move all or something like that, just one click instead of like this two drag and then click process here for multiple items. Paving stones, that's pretty heavy. Three of those, 15 pounds. Yeah, wooden board, that's fine. How much room does this thing have? Does it have a max? I don't know. Screwdriver, we'll throw that in there. Bottle of oil. Keep the water, medicinal herbs, spray the rope that can go in. Uh, mushroom, I don't know, we cook that or what? Level required 10, so we, apparently we could do something with it at level 10. Chocolate bar, we'll keep that. 
Uh, ammo? Keep. It's one pound. We'll keep it. I'm field bracer. Can't wear that yet until I get level 7, 9, 12, 5. So. Is that now, is that camp level or is that survivor level? I don't know. I'm not sure. Can of peas, can of corned beef, lump of coal. Alright. Alright, we're down to 16 pounds, so we're much lighter now. Nice. I think uh, now we need to go back down and talk to uh, talk to Kovac again. So we'll just head on over here to our local uh, shelter. Is it over here? Where's it at? No, there's medicinal herb. I want to grab that as well. Oh, and let's make some bandages real quick. Maybe I need to go back here to where the uh, what is this? The water. Food. Let's eat some chocolate bars. Oh yeah, see the chocolate bar made me thirsty. I have two bottles of water. Should be able to see I should be able to fill up this water because it's raining so hard right now. Okay, let's grab that. I think I need uh, I think I need the cloth out of here. I have like a million million things of cloth here somewhere. There it is. 46. Probably don't need that many. Twelve, that should be plenty. More than enough. Now let's do crafting again. Let's see if I can craft a bandage or something. Wood pole. How do I craft a bandage? Can I do that yet? Do I not know how? Armory, kitchen, wood pole. What's that for? For plugging the gaps in it that those damn infected get through all the time. Alright, kitchen. Dishes and cocktails. Salt and pepper is on the house. Workshop for making weapons and ammo. Alright. So that's as far as we can go right now. Let's um let's go ahead and use the medicinal herbs. We've got ten of those. That's pretty good. Well, we'll just use one more. Fine. And uh, we'll just head down this way. Let's see if there's anything on this side of the train. So we really couldn't see this side of the train when we came up. Let's clear the infected out a little bit. Yeah, come on over here, buddy. I'm not sure what to do with the white shroud fl flower yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy. Another piece of cloth. Shocker. Nothing on you. Oh, one coming up behind me. Wood here. Always good to just clear out the the horde occasionally. What's this mean? What does that mean? Does that mean there's a horde coming for by candy bars or what? It's like a countdown clock. Huh. Not sure what that means. Kinda worried by that. Blinking over here, big piece of wood. Yeah, I'm weighing myself down. I know with all this wood that I'm carrying. What's this? Saltpeter, lump of coal. Yeah, how sad. I'm gonna be if this machete breaks. All right, well, let's check our map here real quick. Ooh, what's that? That looks interesting. Check this area over here. There's something, like, something going on. Oh, there's like a little camp, tent camp or something. There's something going on over here. Can I go around? Looks like a can. Can I go down now? That's the question. No, no, it's locking me out. Okay, let's try going the other way. Should have made my camp here. This kind of looks nice. Got somewhere to get out of the rain. Truck to hang out in. What is this place? Place of sleep and everything? Are you kidding me? That's nice. 
All right, well, the countdown thing is over. Not sure what that was about. All right, we really need to go off and do the next mission, I think. So, I uh, thought I saw a hatch up here, but apparently not. So, let me check here where we at. There's a hatch over here. I'm just going to head on over to it real quick. As soon as I grab that stick. Yeah, pretty interesting. I probably would have chose this little place here. Well, I don't know. I think my place is pretty nice. This, this does look like a nice little area. It's got like a little gap there. And a little itty bitty gap right here as well. That probably would have been pretty easy to defend, actually. I wonder if I can pack up the move, but I don't know. We got what we got. Stay there for the time being. Alright, uh, how much am I weighing? 27 pounds. Oh, that's not bad. I didn't know I picked up all those big pieces of wood. I thought maybe I was going to be like around 60 pounds or something. 27's not bad. Alright. Hey, go back. What's going on, man? You got a mission for us? Fine. Now that you've placed the first stone of your building, I'm talking about your trunk, Survivor. We'll move on to the next step in the program. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. First improvement. No, we've already done that. Well, we well, I gotta be level 2 at that. I stay on the farm. What? Well, I can't do that yet. I need character level two. How do I get character? How do I build my character? All right, buddy. Well, I can't do it yet. Do I have to? Hold on. Maybe there's a way to level up here. Yeah, I already know that one. I'm not going to play that video again. Crafting? Yeah. Inventory? That has nothing to do with it. Let me, let me go out here and do my controls here and see what keyboard configuration. Let's see if we get any tips here about this. Inventory's X. Alright, well I know how to get to my inventory. Let's see something about my, my camp menu. That's okay. Talk. Yeah, we know how to talk. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure how to level my character up. Wait, what's this over here? Kovac TV. Is that another place I could get missions? Yes, go back challenges. What's in here? Oh yeah, I already I was already in there. Alright. Go back. Here is what I suggest. Okay, thank you. You're gonna suggest something. No! <laughs> you're such a you're such a quest tease, man. How do I level up? Let me level up. Camp level. Okay, I got that. I got that with my camp. But how do I level up my character, dude? Okay. Oh, here we go. So it was X for inventory. So this is different than the inventory I was looking at before. All right. So we should have plenty of points. My God. Um, canvas backpack. This has got to be it. Okay. This is nice. This is good. General info. Character level. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. We got plenty. Camp's two level. Okay, to go any higher. All right, I got you. Can I get, go at least to the very end edge? Like do three out of the four? No, won't even let me start. Ooh, skills. Okay, appetite for birds slows down the rate which hunger, hunger decreases. That sounds pretty good. Starving reduces the effect of extreme hunger. Hydrophobic. Your thirst is age. I like all those. I should probably max out all those. Cardio reduces energy consumption. That's probably pretty good too. Wow, I am really liking this game. Check this out, archery expert. See, that's what I need. I need myself a bow, or crossbow even better. Or just, just give me an assault rifle. I'm not gonna be picky. Thighs of steel. Oh, yeah, so it's like strong back perk right there. All right, come on, scroll up. Come on, buddy, scroll up. <laughs> All right, let's do this melee expert stuff. I got lots of experience points. And it doesn't, see, each one of these is 1,500. It doesn't increase to like 3,000, 4,500, you know, 6,000, anything like that. So there we go. I max those out. Let's go on down. Let's just max these out. Archery expert? Mm, I can almost max it out. Do I want to do that yet? 
or do I need this, those points for something else here? Ah, oh, so here's my small dressing. All right, so medicinal herbs and pieces of cloth. Let's make a couple of those. All right, there we go. Improved baseball bat. Gotcha, some nails. We could do that, but can we do anything? So arrows, the silencer. What is that? Oh, it's a bow. Check that out. Oh, ho, ho. this is beautiful. Damage per second, 90. Level required. Fire frequency, 1. I don't know what that means. How, f how fast is the firing frequency on this? Damage per second, 151.2. Baseball bat. Yeah, I can already, I already have one of those. So it does, it does definitely increase your baseball bat quite a bit. Alright. So I don't think it it uses up your machete. Um, I think you need that to carve out the baseball bat. I don't think it consumes it though. And what is it? Yeah, so I definitely want to make that. Can I do that right now? Do I have enough? Does it, does it actually let me access my trunk from here? Oh, nice. We got one. Simple arrows for the bow, simple arrows for the bow. What's the difference between... Oh, they're just ones from sticks and ones from logs. So let's, and anyway, we can get 20 arrows, so let's just go ahead and do that. So we got like 40 arrows now. I don't know, that seems like enough, but what the heck, we'll go with 60. Alright, that is nice. I'm happy with that. Alright, this game just got way deeper and way more addictive. Or addicting. Okay, what is this? Okay. So that, mostly in the following quest. So that's telling me what quest I found them in. Camp. Okay, so saying I found four just running around camp. And then, okay. Gotcha. First time in the city. Yeah, I remember that. That was the one I couldn't pick up initially. Okay. Well, I think we're good now for the quest. Let's see. Oh, can I, uh, can I actually, did I max out my archery? Let me see here. Or was archery the one that I was waiting on? I do want to try to. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and max this out as best we can. All right, we did. We're doing the best we can. We're a little low on points now, but shockingly, if I hadn't died those fifteen hundred times, I'd be all right. Okay, let's get out of here. Very nice, and let's get something to eat and drink here. Can of peas, sure. All right, let's get something to drink now. There we go. All right, let's do a mission. Here is what I suggest. All right, let's do it. Stay on the farm. What are we going to do here? Survivor, this just won't do. You'll never make it if you keep fighting with a weapon as punchless as that. Hmm. What can we do for... Ah, I know. You need a gun. Oh, I just now made a bow with 60 arrows. How the hell was I supposed to know? And I think I know where you can get the material you need. There's an abandoned house in the countryside not far from here. Farmers always have what they need to defend their property. You should take that as a lesson. A true survivor should always be prepared for anything. Even when things are quiet, you have to anticipate the worst to be sure you're ready. By the way, you have to be sure you're ready. So the lesson is supposed to be, I'm always supposed to be prepared for anything by going to get the weapon from the person who's supposed to be prepared for anything who's probably dead. I suggest you go now, unless you want someone else with the same idea to grab all the good stuff. Like they say, first come, first served. Come on, get the move on. What are you waiting for? Waiting for you to stop talking. All right. So, well, the obviously these points are definitely worth it. So we're gonna max it out again. Oh, I can go up to seven now. Quest level seven. Ooh, baby. So main objectives: get into the abandoned house. How's that a main objective? Main objectives: get a gun. Um, and then what's this? Are these the? We need to make a weapon worthy of the name. So I guess I need five boxes of nails, purple strength potion. Why do I need that? 
<laughs> I've, been, I've been using a gun to provide for my family my entire life, and I haven't ever heard of the purple strength potion. All right, and copper wire. Never seen copper wire in a pistol either, but okay. I guess it's copper brass, or I guess, I don't know. No, not really, it's brass. Yeah, copper jacketed, is it copper? I'm trying to remember, bullets. Ooh, where are we at now? Where did we come at? Oh, he just sort of threw me out at this farm. This is like a separate place. Okay, so we got our bow. How do I select my bow? Oh, my bow. Dude, give me my bow. No, no, no. Give me my bow. Oh, my bow. Give me my bow. I'm gonna throw oh, I'm gonna... Okay, so you can only have two in your weapon slot. So I need to go find my... Where's my weapons at? There we go. I want the silencer instead of my baseball bat. Perfecto mundo. Ah, here we go. You can shoot your enemies by tilting the right stick in the direction of your target and pressing the fire button. All right. Sounds pretty good. Except he said right stick. So I'm thinking he's thinking this is like for the console. So he should really take that back. I'm, I'm loving this. I am absolutely loving this. I'm going this way, I guess. Give me the herbs, man. Give me the herbs. Why do I feel like there should be hooks around here? And some guy with a chainsaw or traps chasing me around this cornfield. Little, little dead by daylight fl uh, flashback here. Okay. I'm not, maybe I need to go this way. What the heck? He's got a pitchfork. That was awesome. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, this is like my new favorite game. Actually. <laughs> Did knock this helmet off. I probably would have been able to hold that helmet if I... Now the question is, do I get to retrieve these arrows? Oh, I do get the helmet. I do get the helmet. Check this out. I got a safety helmet. I do get my arrows back. How many do I get? Am I back to 60? Because I didn't miss. How many do I have? How many do I have? Where are they at? Oh, I got a rusty pitchfork I can use as a weapon too. That's funny. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Look at that. 229. How many... Where's my ammo? 59. Okay, so I lost one arrow in that whole process. That is great. I'm going to be leveling up my archery like nobody's business, man. Just you wait. This is great. Alright, I don't know which way I'm running. Am I going the right way? Okay. Keep out. Of course, I'm going to go right in. Well, that looks like probably... The wall for the farm. Let's head this way real quick. How, how, what kind of range can we get on this? Pretty good. Boom, headshot. Yeah, I really don't want to get into a tussle with that guy. We got that pitchfork, and that thing is wicked. I think I lost that arrow when I hit the helmet. Because I think you can actually hear it break. Dude. <laughs> that is awesome. Probably don't need all these safety helmets. But I don't know. Maybe I can get other people to join my camp. So I'm going to collect them for now until we find out for sure. And just make sure that my I'm not too overweight. No, I'm good. Let's go put that safety helmet on. What is that? Damage reduction. Negative 1%. Take it. It's better than nothing. Everybody around here is really like OSHA paranoid. Except for that guy. Never seen so many safety helmets on a farm in my entire life.
this is just so satisfying. The game's worth it just for this part right here. Just doing archery on zombies. Oh, come on. For God oh, for God's sakes, man. <laughs> I should have just been hitting spam and F is what I should have done right there. Okay, there. That's better. It's better accurize. Come on. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of looking cool. I mean, it's all sort of matching now. Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. Because I moved off of him. Oh, I can shoot him while he's down. That's not even fair. That's not even fair. Glad I made 60 of these, though. I'm going to use every one of these if I can. Like, one big trunk of tree, like, makes 20 arrows or something. Oh, there's one stuck in the weeds here. Okay, well, there's one here, too. Okay, we'll take him out. I I'm going to start actually macheteing the guys that don't have the pitchforks. And I'm going to stand off the guys that have the pitchforks. Can they make it through here? Or is this like some sort of a like a hedgerow or something going on here? What's going on? This guy's got a pitchfork. Alright, they look like they're stuck. Down to 50 arrows. And I have been collecting all my arrows, I do th I believe, so... I have lost a few arrows in the process. And one of them I did shoot shoot wide. Wide right. Alright, let's go into battle here. Oh, what's up? I see you. God, I'm glad I skilled up on this, this guy. I'm not going to pick anybody anymore. I saved the elements. I got plenty of them. This one I will do because he's at an awkward angle. Alright, we'll machete you. Oh, he was kind of tough. Yeah, he was a bit tough. Oh, well, why? Retreat. I'm just going to have to ditch a bunch of safety helmets. <laughs> How many do I have now? It's ridiculous. Seven? Yeah, I can just... Should, can I just purge these or... Like, throw them down? Hmm. Don't really need seven of them. But I'm only at 57 pounds, so I'm okay. Another one of you? Well, at least you're not wearing a helmet this time. Gotcha. I just want my arrows. I don't want the pitchfork or the... Uh, or the helmet anymore. I know, I could probably just run up and find that farm, but... This is way too much. Oh, you know what? Let's do. Let's bust this out here. Dang, I don't want the safety helmet. All right, get to the abandoned house. So we got that taken care of. What we got here anything? And we are on level seven difficulty. So yay for us. Alright, well guys, I think I'm just going to end this episode here. We're at the 30 minute mark almost. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. We're going to go in here and clear this house out. Room by room with the ultimate close quarters weapon. <laughs> the, the long bow or the bow and arrow, I guess. It's not really a long bow. Bow and arrow. Y'all take care. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Here